Today we will discuss the concept of adjacency matrix using network S. As we say, we already discussed the concept of the network S, how to draw the graph in the previous few video. We all of those videos are available on my channel. So these are the introduction to the graph, types of the graph. Now today we will discuss the adjacency matrix. Adjacency matrix is one method to represent the graph in the form of the matrix. Adjacency matrix is a 2D array of the size V cross V. V cross V means V is a vertices. Means V cross V, if we are having two vertices, so two multiply by two, we will have the matrix. So that is the number of the vertices and number of the nodes in the graph. Let the 2D array of the slot adjacency i, j is equal to 1. If we are having the edge between the different nodes, then value will be the 1 in the adjacency matrix. If we don't have the edge, then the value will be the 0. Let's see. Over here, let me see that here we are having one graph over here. Having the different type of the nodes are there, A, B, C, D. All of those nodes are connected with each other. This one is the directed graph. Now, where here we are having the edge between A to B. So, edge exists between A to B. Although, we don't have any edge exist between uh, like A to B. Although, D to A we have a edge, but A to D no edge is there. A to B we have a edge. So, or A to A no edge is available. So, A to A no edge is available. So, in adjacency matrix, when we have edges available for that one edge, we have to use the one. Although this one is not a weighted graph, if you have a weighted graph, then the weight will be used over here, right? So we see that whenever we are having the matrix is available and directed graph is available. So adjacency, what we have, adjacency of the adjacency of IJ that will be equal to one, but if that will be equal to 1 whenever we are having the edge. So we have an edge between A to B. So where we are having in our here in the adjacency matrix, we are having the four different nodes are there. So and we will have the four rows as well as four columns. Mean we, we our matrix will be the four cross four. So we are having A, B, C, D, and then A, B, C, D. So A to B we are having the edges there. So we have to use it over here one. Similarly, A to C, A to C again we have a H, so here we have put it over here and 1. Is there any H between A to D? No H is there, so we are not using it over here, or simply we will use it over here the 0. Similarly, A to A, no H is available, so we have to use it over here 0. Similarly, B to A, is there any H between B to A? No edge is there. This one is, remember that one, this one is the directed graph. If we are having the undirected graph, so undirected graph are always symmetric. Means, if we have edge between A to B, then that will be 1. And B to A, that is also a 1. But whenever we are having the directed graph, so directed graph order is very important. So here we don't have any edge started from the B, originated from the B, and ended with the A. So B to A, we have to use the zero now next one we have a b to b no edge is there no loop is available over here at the b so we will have the zero next one we are having the b to c like b to c we have edge between b to c so we have to use the one similarly b to d yes we have i so use it over here one right similarly next one we are having the c C to D, we have C to A. Is there any edge? No. So we have to use it simply over here the 0. So if we have a C to B, is there any edge? No. So use it over here 0. Then we see that uh, C to B. Then C, C to C, no edge is there. Again, we have to use it over here the 0. And then C to D, yes, we have an edge. So click it over here 1. Now D to A, yes, we have an edge. So we have to use it over here the one. D to B, no edge is there. Also B to D is there, but D to B, no edge is there as this one is the directed top. So we have to use it over here.
d to b no edges there we have to use whatever as zero then we have to d to c no edges available c to d we have x but uh, d to c we don't have x zero and then d to d no edges there we have to use whatever as zero so that is adjacency matrix by the way this one is not a weighted curve if we have a weighted curve what we have to do like we have, we have a uh, different type of the weights are available over here like i am using the weight weight is over here a to b i am using the weight the weight is 9 so instead of a to b instead of 1 we have to mention it over here weight 9 right so instead of a to b instead of mentioning it over here the 1 we have to mention the weight similarly b to c let me say that we are having the weight is here 11 so where is b to c b and c we have to use over here the 11 so we have to mention it over here similarly a to c let me say that say a to c we have a weight uh, like 30 a to c so we are giving a to c so we have mentioned over here the 30 and similarly for all the others so in this way we have to prepare the adjacency matrix now how to implement the adjacency matrix in the python let's move to the Python sections uh, like we here we have now here you can see that over here we already import uh, we already import the network x import network x as in x so already executed import numpy as in p and import pond as as pd right three different libraries that we imported over here now we are using it over here the different type of vertices we are going to a b c and d we already discussed in the previous uh, few videos so i already created it over here so a b c and d and then we have a edge edge are there in between a b and this one is the weighted graph so that is a 12 b c we have a 12 c d we have 11 d a we see that we have a weight is 3 and d b in other edge that we have a 10 and a c we have a weight is 9 so when we have a these graph are available now let me see that we have want to use it over at the position so how to calculate the position it over here we see that uh, position equal to for position we have to use it over here uh, like uh, at what point we have to use it over here let me see that uh, different nodes are there node is here we have uh, a and position of that one we say that a is at the position 1 1 1 means at x axis it is at the point 1 and at the uh, y axis that is also 1 then we have the b b we see that uh, on the x axis b is at uh, point 3 and y axis it is all in the 1 then we have the another node that we have a node is here c so at the c we see that this one is at the x axis at the point 3 and y axis this one is also at the 3 and the last one node that we see that we have a node is here at d and d is at the point of uh, x axis at the point 1 and y axis this one is also at the point 3 so this one is used to represent the position so just execute it to so for execution of that one we can use it over here alt and enter right so when we add the position it over here now next step we have to uh, add the network x graph so how we and this one we see that we are having the directory graph so how we can use the directory graph so for the directory graph we have to use it over here g let me see that the name of the graph we say that, that g, g is the variable for the directory graph now we are having the network x is the library so for that one we are using it over here as a in x dot die graph right so here we use it over here as a library g is equal to in x dot die graph so it will now next step we have to add the nodes from the what says we add the weighted edge from the edge e so how we can use it over here we already know that one also g dot add 
node from from where we have we have to add the node you see that we are having the vertex g from with the vertex g we have to add the node so just execute it then now we are having the edge there normally we are using the uh, g dot add edge from uh, and then we have to use the e but here we are having the weighted edge there so what we have to do we say that g dot add weighted edge from and where we have to add the weighted edge let me say that we are having the for the edge we are using the e execute it let's see now So here it display the error message. Let's see what is the directory of has the no attribute add or oh, yes spellings are in wrong. So add g dot add weighted edge from. So we have to use the add weighted edge from. We so just execute this one. So here now we add it over here the uh, different type of the vertices as well as different type of the edge. If you want to check it over here g dot node. So we can check it over here. G dot nodes. All the nodes will be displayed over here. And similarly, if you want to display it over here, the uh, G dot edge. So we can display it over here. All the list of the edge over here. So list of the edges, edges are displayed over here. Now, when we see that we are using it over here in the edge uh, weight, that is. Uh, that is the edge attribute, so we have to use it over here. So, although position is a uh, node attribute as well as weight is the edge attribute. So when we are using it over here, the edge attribute. So what we have to use over here the weight, and we see that uh, we are using over here weight is equal to index dot get edge attribute get edge attributes get edge attributes so for that we want to take the attributes of the edge we are using the very hard like we said that the graph is here g and uh, what we are which one attribute that we want to use it over here like we said that we want to use it over here the weight so execute it we are taking the weight edge attributes now next step uh, what we have to do, we have to draw the simple graph and then we will go for the adjacency matrix. So, how to draw the graph? Like we said, it's, uh, we are using the uh, in a library that is uh, index.draw network x, index.draw network x, and then we said that we are having the name of the graph is here g, uh, we said that. Next one, we should have with labels. Uh, we, we want to display the label as well as uh, for the node as well as the edge. So, with with labels equal to, we say that uh, label must be true. So, label equal to true. Then we see that we have to use it over at the position. So, position is equal to what should be the position of the node. So we say that the position must be the uh, over here that is equal to position and we say next one we are having the node size outside node color as well as uh, what else different topic that we can use it over here so i'm using two of them node size that is very important uh, we are using it over here node size like we say that's 1500 oh and then we see that we are having next one is node color That we have the node color. I am using it over here. Or red, so it means node color will be the red. Now next one we see that the edge color, and we can use it over here. Equal to like I want to use it over here the edge color green. Similarly, I want to use it over here the arrow size. So for the arrow size, I can use it over here. 
arrow size, I'm using the word 32. So we are using it over here, the edge size 33, right? And now, if you want to add any other attribute, then we can add those other attribute as well over here. So we see that the next one is uh, like we have the uh, now we have the edge label. So for that one, we have to use it over here in X dot draw. Network X Edge label and over here we are using it over here the graph. We, our graph is a G having the different type of the attributes. Now we want to use it over here the position. Uh, so our position is position and then we want to use it over here the uh, edge label we can use it over here edge label edge label equal to wait we see that we are having the edge label is weight and then we see that uh, uh, font size of the different type of the edge so that we can use it over here. Font. Remember that one here, what we are using the font size. This one is for the uh, weight size, right? So whenever we are using the weight, so size of the weight font. Okay, well, font size equal to, uh, I'm using the area 16. Okay, here we didn't use the the font size. I'm using also the font size on the draw network x so here font size and then that equal to like we say here also we see okay so here we have to execute it if everything is no spelling mistakes then everything will be fine so here it draw one graph over here this one is a weighted graph all the position are identified we already are having the position a b c d and all of these are this one is the directions of all the graph that is displayed over here now if you want to <laughs> display the uh, different type of the edge list so how we can now we are moving towards the adjacency matrix how to draw the adjacency matrix so before drawing the adjacency matrix we have to use it over here the using the network x library we want to display the edge list so how we can use the display the edges like edges here a b and having the weight 12 b c weight is 12 then uh, c d weight is 11 d a weight is 3 then a c we have a uh, weight is 10 then b d we are having the weight is 10 okay now next one what we have uh, next one we want to use it over here so in x dot two panda is dash two panda h list and at least we want to display it over here from the graph g so whenever we are having the graph g so from this one graph we have to use it over here two panda h list so it displayed over here all the different type of the six different edges are available A to B, A to C, B to C, B to D, C to D and D to A. If we don't have the weight, then nothing will be displayed over here and uh, our in our adjacency matrix just we have to use the zero or one. But if we are having weight, so there we are having the edges available, uh, then it will mean display the weight over here in the adjacency matrix. Now we are having that next step is we are having the adjacency matrix now how to draw the adjacency matrix so similarly uh, we have to use the uh, our library over here in x dot 
टू पॉइंटर एंड एडजस्टेंसी एंड एडजस्टेंसी ऑफ द ग्राफ जी एग्जीक्यूट दिस वन Now it displays over here. It creates the adjacency matrix. In this one, adjacency matrix we have for from A to A, nothing will be there. No loop is there, so it displays over here zero. A to B, we are having the weight is there twelve, so it displays over here twelve. A to C, so we are having the weight is nine. Then A to D, nothing is there. Then B to A, nothing is there. Then B to C, we are having the weight is twelve. C to we have D, C to D that we are having. Uh, sorry, B to D, B to D. If we check it over here, B to D we are having the weight is ten, so it is weight over here. So that is the way to create the adjacency matrix using network X or using Python. Thanks for watching the video.